Hello guys, it is Matt Helps here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a Star Wars electricity effect. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so now that we have After Effects open, let's go ahead and import our footage. So let's go right click, import file, and locate our footage and open it. Once we've opened it, you just want to drag it into this little box here, and there you go, you've made a new composition. So once we've done that, we just want to go layer, new, solid, and make it a black solid, you have to make sure of that, and just hit OK. Now we want to find our lightning, so go over to effects and presets and type in lightning. And you can look at it at the bottom and it'll say obsolete, obsolete sorry, and you just want to drag it onto the black solid. Now you have your lightning here, and obviously it sparks a little, which is good. So let's go here and click on the black and you just want to go to mode. And if you don't have mode, you just want to go toggle switches and get to, until you get to mode and then click normal and screen and then you'll have it on your screen here so now you want to just fiddle around with these to make your lightning how you like it so for the segments I'm gonna just put it on 14 and for the amplitude 6.4 Detail level, all the way up. Detail amplitude, probably at, I, I put it on 410, but you guys can do whatever you want. Branching, all the way. Rebranching, all the way. Branching and rebranching is just the electricity that comes off the side, so it makes it look a lot like electricity. Um, branch angle, so this is the angle that you want your branches to face so obviously I want it to face to the right because I'm pushing to the right so we'll just push it all the way down just so I can get a good angle on the that's good maybe a bit less that's perfect okay so the branch segment length this is just how big you want your branches your branch length to be with that is ridiculous so you want to just bump it down a bit or a lot you don't want that so maybe there yeah that looks good I'm putting mine on 1000 1.760 um, so now for the branch segments you just want to Chuck it maybe a bit down. Ugh, yep, a lot down. I'm putting mine on five. Um, for the branch width, this is like the width that you want your branches to be on. You don't want it too high because that just looks retarded. Um, I'm gonna keep mine on 1.97. Yeah, that looks oh, maybe a bit less. Yeah, 1.610. Uh, so the speed, you don't have to worry about. Stability, you don't have to worry about. Uh, the width. So you just want to change your width to make it how you like. I'm putting on 12.3. And the width variation, it just changes which, um, which strike or lightning has the width. So I'm just going to put it on 1, uh, 0.14. And the core width is obviously the middle of it you don't want it to be zero because then it just looks stupid so I'm gonna put mine on probably about 0.32 um, and the outside and inside color so the outside color is obviously what color you want your lightning so if you want it red that's what it look like um, if you want it like green or pink or something looks weird but and the inside color you just want to leave white because that's probably the original I'm gonna leave it white you guys can change it uh, and you can leave all of this for now so now what you want to do is let's get on to the position of the lightning so let's just get a hold of our lightning 
Ugh. Okay, there you go. So once the footage starts, once you start pushing, which is about there, for the lightning, you just want to drag it out to the position and then press start and end point, this little stopwatch is next to it, and then click on your black solid and press U and then it'll come up with the start and end point here. And there's your keyframes there, so then you want to go to next, and you just want to sort it out, um, sorry, not sort it out, uh, place it into position, okay, so let me just zoom in here, and Every time your hand moves, just move the lightning. There you go. 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 And I'll see you guys when I'm finished. Okay, so now once it's um, about done, so we'll probably actually delete that keyframe there. Okay, so the end point is actually here, so then all you have to do is go to the bit where you want it to stop, which is probably there. So let me just see this. So there you go, there's your, and then, so there's your electricity if you've done that. So I wanted to stop about there. So I'd go to the lightning, and I'd click T for the opacity, and I'd go, from here, I'd go zero. And then from here, I'd go 100%. Okay, and that's all you have to do to make it go away. So if we take a look at that, oops, let me just, there's a start point as well. Yeah. And actually, I'll just make this one fade in, so I'll go a couple of things over. So I'll make this one fade in as well. You can make it fade in. So if I go to opacity, put it at about zero here, go along to where it starts, and chuck it up to 100. And then, if you look at that, there you go. So if you guys like that tutorial, make sure to like and share and. If you want to subscribe for weekly uploads, then go ahead and do that up here. Um, comment down below for if you guys need any help for any tutorials for the effects. And I'll see you guys next time.